On Wednesday, civil society organizations under their umbrella body, dubbed CSBAG, appeared before the Finance Committee of Parliament that is scrutinizing the now controversial exercise duty tax on mobile money. The meeting, however, turned rowdy as committee members accused civil societies for inciting the public against the now controversial mobile money tax. So if you want to fight with the parliament, the best, the best time to fight is when an election comes such that you have powers to determine decisions. But if you want to fight a parliament that is already, that is already voted on decision making and your civil society, you are really wasting time. Our core argument is not about shielding citizens from paying taxes. We still believe that citizens must pay taxes. So if it was in bad faith, we wouldn't be telling this committee that please don't tax here, but please look at other sources that are less painful. We have to be very honest that every citizen of Uganda, irrespective of whether a member of parliament or whatever it is, uh, is supposed to be paying their uh, due tax. Impose 0.5 without now educating the people that it is not going to go to the mobile money agents, it's going to go to you. The committee members also criticized the CSOs soliciting signatures to pass a vote of no confidence in some legislators who supported the passing of the tax. If you want to cause the impact, you must move with the parliament. Because however much you talk, the decision making powers are with us. Uh, the signals that, that we collected some time back were to ensure that our people are taxed fairly because we want a fair share of taxes. Meanwhile, the Kampala Mobile Money Dealers Association has asked Parliament to drop even the 0.5%, saying over 200 mobile money agents have already been pushed out of business. Violet Namata, Sam Ibandam Gabi, NBS Live at 9.